Have you ever wondered how online maps work? What is the logic and mathematical equations behind maps? Are you a developer keen to understand the principles and source code of how web maps are made? I'm Peter, the founder of MapTiler. We are here to help you build great maps. This is the first video from the series of Web Mapping Basics. So let's start. If you interact with a map on a computer screen, you get the illusion of exploring a single huge image. For quick panning and zooming of the maps, the computers need to use a trick to avoid loading all the map data of the entire world at once. The web browser is in fact loading only a small subset of the information. The world map is divided into a regular grid of little square areas, and those square areas are called map tiles. These tiles are arranged in a pyramid with multiple floors called zoom levels. More about that in the following episode of this series. At the top level of the pyramid, the tiles always contain general information like continents and oceans. Farther down, we see more details such as streets and buildings. With all the information loaded on the world map at once, the map would be overfilled, hard to read and very slow. That's why content is generalized for different zoom levels. When the cartographers carefully select the relevant information and define what appears, when and how. Web maps usually show the world represented as a square. As such, it is easy for processing on computers and it creates the top of the tile pyramid. This view is called Mercator Map Projection. It correctly shows straight lines, angles of directions and accurate shapes of buildings and objects, but not their relative size, especially as you get closer to the polar areas. Greenland, for example, looks as big as Africa, even though it is in fact 14 times smaller. And you can never see the North or South Pole. We will talk more about map projections in one of our next videos. To sum it up for today, most web maps use map tiles made in Mercator projection. Map tiles are pre-generated small parts of the entire world map. They show different amounts of detail depending on the zoom level, which represent the floor level of the pyramid. The map tiles allow user to interact with the map without loading a huge global dataset. At maptiler.com tiles, we have prepared for you an interactive tool showing the zoom level numbers and latitude and longitude area for any map tile you select. You can find there also source code and more details. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch more of the videos about web maps where we explain all these concepts. In the next one, we speak about coordinates of tiles within the zoom pyramid. Check it out. See you.